Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to coding with T. Today we are going to learn how to create form in the flutter. In this tutorial we will first learn how to create a form using a global key. Then we will also perform the validations on the text fields and we will collect all the data and pass it to our details.dot screen. So, so we are in section 3 and we are about to create the last video of this section and also of this complete flutter basic crash course for absolute beginners. If you are new you can get the link from the description below. At the end of this series I am also going to combine all these three sections all these videos into one single video and it will be helpful for those who want to watch a single video and want to learn complete flutter basic crash course using single videos so that video will be useful for those. Don't forget to subscribe the channel to get notified about the latest videos. So let's get started open android studio. So we are inside the form.dart and we will try to collect the data from all these fields we created previously. You can see that in here we have text fields, checkbox, we have two radio buttons, drop down button and also then we have a submit button. So in here we first have to create a form. So for that we first let's create a generic key of the form. So this is a global key but it also have some type so we have to pass form state. Basically this form state is a specific keyword for the forms. It is not something related to my form or my form state. So it's not related to these names. Please don't get confused. Okay once this global key has been created down below in here we have to create the form widget. So as a form we have to provide only single child. So for that I am going to pass column. And now inside this form we also have a form key. Now inside this children's we will simply copy and paste all these fields we created and we'll paste it inside this column. Okay now you can see we have a simple form with a global key and it has some fields. Okay now we have created our form but we need to perform the validations. So to perform the validation we will we already have a custom text field so add towards this custom text field inside the text form field we have a validator property inside this validator it is simply a function which will get whatever the value has been entered in the text field now in here we will add simple if statement by checking if its value is null or empty if value is equal to null or it is empty then we will simply return some error and we also have to return null if nothing goes wrong right so head toward the form dot dot and you can see we have two fields Basically these two fields are same for the my text field. So if you have multiple fields you have to write validator for each field. But for now for the product name and product description we want to use the same validator for two fields. But if you want to use a custom validator you will also have to add those fields as a generic. The way we are using these fields so you can also learn them from the previous videos. Now our form has been created and we also added the validations but now when the click of this my button or uh, it is a basically custom button whatever the button you are using when the user uh, click on the submit button we basically first want to validate those fields and then pass data to our details dot dot. So for the validation if you have the button right here you don't have to do this but if you have a custom button then heads toward the custom button like I have inside the widgets my button. Okay, in here you can see we already have a on press function which is simply returning details using a product name and product description. But now we want to perform the on press event inside our form dot dot. So for that we don't need this right now. Let's just remove this from here. Also, we will pass the data from our form dot dot. We don't need these variables anymore. Instead, we want to pass this on press event. So we will have a void callback. Let's name it on press. In the constructor, we will make it required. Remove this constant as well. Make it final. And also, we will pass this on press to our on press event. Add comma, and the error has been gone. Close this my button. And in the form, you can see now we don't need to pass these two variables. But if we want to use our my button, add requirement on press. So we have to pass a simple function here inside the on press. So now inside this function we want to validate our form. You can see we are inside the form and we have a property if form key the global key we created dot current state. This current state is nullable. So for that we have to add this exclamation mark dot we have a validate function. 
if this form key state is uh, validate means it's true then we want to perform our actions we pass the data to our details dot screen only when this state has been validated so inside this if statement we will pass the data to our details or dot let's say for now let's create a snack bar that will be showing the data has been processing so if the state has been validated the snack bar will be appeared with the text processing data let's try to run the application now when i'm going to click on this submit button you can see that we have two errors please enter some text please enter some text so let's add some text here and click on this button again and you can see the processing data snack bar has been appeared down below here let's click again and this snack bar is right here so this means that our validation is working now we want to collect all this data and we want to pass this data to our details or dart so for that we first have to create a model in the lib let's create a new directory models inside let's create a new file product model dot dart port material and it is a simple class class name is product details now let's add all the fields that we want to pass to our next screen okay well, i have created all these fields that we require product name product details the top product product type and product size let's towards the form and right below the form key let's try to add product details now we will use this product details to initialize all the fields so instead of this snack bar let's remove this if the field has been successed we will use this product details dot product name is equal to we know we have a product name inside product controller so we will use product controller dot text so let's assign all these values so we get all these values in here and you can see we have exclamation mark at the end because these values are nullable so for that we have to add this exclamation mark so these are the non nullable fields and these are the nullable fields so that's why we use this so when all these data has been mapped to our product details so now we can pass the product details to our details dot dart screen so for that let's head toward our details dot dart and in the constructor instead of getting these two values let's get product details so in the required we will also get the product details let's remove the second one now we are basically getting all the values inside the model so we will map all these values one by one in here so first now let's write navigator dot push constant so we simply write a navigator dot push and using a material page route we will go to the details and in the product details we are passing whatever is inside this product details so instead of declaring them at the top we can declare it inside the button so its scope should be limited whenever the button will be pressed so this will be created and new values will be assigned and it will pass to okay now adds toward the details and in here now we have to instead of the product name we have product details dot product name instead of this product description we will pass product details dot product description and like this we have to replace all the values like a top product so in here we will use product details dot is top product if it is a top product we will display this chip here and in the else we have to pass let's say our dummy text which will not return anything add a comma here so in the product type you can see that by assigning the product type i have just simply converted because it's a enum so you have to convert this as string it will be treated as a string so now let's try to run the application we have assigned all these values control alt l to align our code okay now let's try to run the code save the application and this time let's try to fill the values in a real time so it is let's say a top product it is a deliverable product and its size is we have a medium size now let's try to submit it okay so you can see that our form has been created and we successfully passed the data using a model we also do the validation for the text fields so i hope you learn something new
again for a quick review go to the form.dart and in here we created a simple final global key we use that global key to create our form and pass that inside the key in the children widgets we have to because we have multiple children in the form so we use a layout flutter widget which is a column widget and we created all these fields in the my button and on the press of the button we are going to get this form key and it state if it's validated then we will get all this data and we will pass this data to our detail screen and in the details we have our dynamic list style in which we are basically displaying all the records so that's it for uh, this tutorial i hope you learned something new and for the next video i am going to combine all these three sections and you can get the link from the description below about the complete playlist and also from the right top corner thank you for watching take care allah hafiz